Well guys, I think it's time for a summer update. Today, I am living right here on the beach in Newcastle, Ontario, Canada. Bubba Box Truck Corey. Well, one thing they do have here in Newcastle is the smallest bridge in North America, I think. One lane of traffic. In this day and age, who'd have thunk it? It's a cute little town. Some interesting old buildings. Got everything you need around, I guess. Some nice little restaurants and patios. Here on Lake Ontario, it's uh, it's not the worst day, that's for sure. A little rain. Oh, better watch where I'm walking. A little rain isn't the end of the world. It's better than snow. Oh, jeez, look at that. A wave just came in, soaked my shoe. I guess I should have been paying better attention. Look at this trash, guys. I don't know. Not very Canadian-like. A lot of the camps, are uh, the, the day places, parks around here, are only open dawn to dusk. So this is just uh, living for the day and have to find a little parking lot later at night but I just wanted to show you that I'm you know I'm enjoying Canada and I'm you know I'm having a good Canadian snack got my my ketchup flavored potato chips gotta have those and of course uh, you gotta you gotta have your milk in a bag oh so let's uh, let's get our our jug because you know you can't just have a, a liquid in a bag that doesn't work well so here we go, snack time, almost ready. Open up the bag, got my good chips. That's the, the cheap ones, guys, the great value, because, you know, I can't pay for the Lay's. And, uh, well, don't mind me, I'm just gonna, oh, that's a little messy, but that's, you know, the joy of milk in a bag. Oh boy, good potato chips, ketchup, you haven't lived, guys. Ah, oh. good stuff, ketchup chips. If you ever make it to Canada, give them a try. The Lay's ones are better, but you know, they're a lot more expensive. And after all, the point of van life mm. on a disability budget is to live cheap. It was a long drive back and uh, you know, it's, uh, it's nice to be back in Canada. You know, I sure love hanging out in the States in the winter, enjoying that great weather, but it's always fun to come home. I've been visiting family and friends and touring around my old stomping grounds, Toronto. And uh, you know, right now I'm, I'm a little east of Toronto, about oh, an hour's drive east. So now that I've gotten back and I've settled in and you know, what have I been up to? That's what you're wondering. What are you doing, box truck, Corey? What are you doing to pass those days? Oh, I'm sure it's a life of luxury. Well, I gotta tell you, no it is not. I am working. I am getting the truck ready. I am fixing mechanical stuff. I'm working on the inside. And I am working off some money. A little barter camping. Some money I borrowed back over the winter. Uh, just really to to get through and, and, and deal with some repairs and buy some diesel to get back to Canada. But, you know, I have the skill to do some home renovation work. And if I can do some barter, uh, basically, uh, 
you know, I got paid in advance, a good deposit, I guess you could say, all of it. <laughs> but now I gotta get the work done. So I'm working away at that, little jobs like that, ceiling fans, light fixtures, uh, painting, some renos uh, to, to pay off this loan, basically. And I'm hoping to, you know, get to a little work on the truck too. But oh boy, the truck is costing me some money lately. Got some more problems. Broke a leaf spring, the eye too. Like right where it, it connects to the, the frame of the truck. So I have to replace the entire leaf spring. You know, it, it's old, it's 22 years old with uh, 410,000 kilometers. So what's that, 300,000 miles, something like that. You can ask Google, I'm not doing the math. But it's, uh, it's just part of life, I guess. Part of van life. And you know, on top of my other repairs, it's, uh, gosh darn, excuse me, got some chips stuck in my teeth. Don't you hate when that happens? Hmm. Especially when you know. Ah, hmm. oh, anyway, back to things. What was I saying? The truck, that's right. So not only do I have the broken leaf spring that I gotta get fixed, I guess, uh, this week or next week sometime soon but the seal on my rear uh, drum brakes went out and leaked corrosive brake fluid everywhere caused my shoe to separate and basically ruined all my uh, my brakes on that rear wheel and as if that isn't bad enough I think I think there's some problems on the other side too, so I gotta have that looked into. But on the positive side, I'll have the brake system completely redone, all good to go, once I fix these newest brake problems. So that might interfere a bit with the work I wanna do on the truck. But, you know, the most important thing is to have a safe, reliable, mechanically sound truck. Van life, when the van isn't running, no good at all guys no good at all gotta have a reliable vehicle number one the truck is livable I can I can do another winter back to Arizona if I need to without doing much in there so here's my thoughts you know I've been thinking scratching my head pulling my hair out and th th this is what I've been thinking you know I might just do a bunch of small stuff on the truck I've got <coughs> Oh boy, excuse me. Sarcoidosis in the lungs. Man, you're always coughing. Not fun. Hope you don't mind listening to me hack away a bit. It's just part of life for me these days. Not going to change. What else? What was I saying? Lost my train of thought. I'm thinking maybe of shaving the beard. I don't know. What do you think? With the beard? Should I shave the beard? I guess is what it comes down to. I've been growing this scraggly, unkempt beard for almost a year now. Since I started out heading, heading south for van life. Didn't have it in Florida the previous winter, but I, yeah, I grew it just for, for Arizona and Slab City. And, but yeah, I'm wondering maybe the time has come. Maybe it's time for a change. Should I look more civil now that I'm in civilization? I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? So what else in the truck? Oh, just, just one second here. Let, let, let me get back to that last train of thought. Maybe maybe that's the the look. I don't know. I have to think about that. It's kind of like a '70s porn star. So I picked up a few things. Got the foot pump. 
from uh, Amazon for my bathroom sink. I think it's maybe time I plumb that in, you know. It's only been a year. And uh, we have, of course, the, the ceiling. Yeah, I, I was gonna put my maps all across the ceiling to cover up the insulation there. Yeah, I, I think I can get that done. That wouldn't cost much. And uh, what else? A few little things. Uh, Put, I put some adhesive to, to keep my mirror uh, attached up here and you know I can paint that. It's getting a little rusty in places, you know. So I think, uh, I think a little trim clad paint might help that. Just hold on, one, one more second here guys. Oh, I made it back. You know, another thing I was wondering about you know, we're thinking about doing, I'd, I'd really like to continue on with some insulation. Like my uh, my kitchen wall, that's the big one because it's holding up other jobs. But yeah, I'm going to need a few hundred bucks uh, to buy the, the insulation to do it. So, I don't know. Oh, oh what, 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 what do you think? Is the traditional mustache, is that the way to go? What do you think? I don't think so. Don't think so, not at all. That's worse than the 70s porn star look. That's just the 70s look. I don't know. I have to try it again, maybe. But back to the, uh, to the insulation. This wall, uh, right back there. I, I did the uh, the living room wall already. That side's done, but this uh, before I can put my permanent kitchen in or really figure out my spacing, I, I kind of need a I need to insulate that wall, ideally all the way back to the to the shower there, in behind the shower and around. So that's uh, that's the job I'm hoping to do, and really. It's not that big of a deal. I, I just got to take everything off this wall, disassemble everything, move everything out, throw up the styrofoam insulation, tape it, seal it, you know, vapor barrier, keep uh, keep the drafts away, and and then just put everything back. So I don't know. I'm thinking about it. I'd really like to do it. You know, of course, uh, there's really no, no no end to the jobs that can be done. I've got lots of paper maps I've been saving up for the uh, the ceiling, and then I can put the, the little bezel thingy and f finish it off, make it look pretty. So that's a, a cheap job. I think I might do that. I don't know. What do you think? Spend oh over 20 years since I didn't have a goatee. I'm just bald and beautiful, I guess. Seems weird. But, you know, there's always uh, the back wall too, right? Like I gotta get the, the, the wall board on there. So, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see if that gets done. But the, the cheap, easy stuff, yeah, I think definitely. I've actually got a driveway that I can, I can use to do some renos and so much easier than trying to do it in the middle of the desert. You know, I, I can run an extension cord and plug in. I can run an air conditioner because it's a hot summer, right? Like we're only this is we're just coming up to the what, the end of the first week of August, and uh, it's going to be some warm weather ahead. I think it's got, you know, I could store the materials in the garage. It's a really good, good idea, I think. So, so that's that's the tentative plan. If uh, the repairs on the truck don't cost too much, use that driveway, get the, uh, get the foam board insulation up, call that job done. And this, this wall board on the back wall and all the stuff that's just so much easier to do with a little shop. So maybe, maybe that'll happen. I'm, I'm, I'm tentatively hoping September for that. I'm gonna work August, to, uh, to repay back this, this loan. September, maybe I can get a little uh, work done inside the truck. And then October, heading south, work my way 
fact of the fan build fest. Start it all over again. Another thing that I was thinking about. Oh man, doesn't it seem weird? Seems weird to me. Live streams. You guys want a live stream? I'm thinking about doing that because I, I could park in that driveway and I think I'd have a good enough reception because, oh man, internet to, to live stream on a cell phone in Canada, man, oh, it's the expensive, like, you know, their idea of lots of data is five gig a month and I, I'd go through most of that just doing an hour live, live feed. But if I can, uh, if I can do it with Wi-Fi, that's, that's, that's what I'm thinking. Park in that driveway, do the live feeds from just inside the truck. I think there'll be a little traffic noise, but it, it might be all right. So, so that's my thoughts. Do you want a live feed? Would you watch? If you would, put a comment in. Tell me what time of day, like uh, afternoon or evening, weekday or weekend. Tell me what uh, what would work best. And you know, of course, put your time zone in there because you know. Anyway, I'll, yeah several hours between the East Coast and the West Coast so if you just say hey yeah Saturday's five o'clock would be awesome well yeah that's specific that would mean nine o'clock on the East Coast so so anyway let me know your thoughts what time would be good should I do it what do you think I don't know guys I'm I'm already missing the unruly goatee do you think I can get it back on there Oh, well, it grows quick, though. It grows quick. And, you know, of course, I'm working on some more videos for you, too. I'm gonna get back to some build videos. A little bit of solar, and uh, I guess uh, some plumbing, What you know, whatever I get to building in the truck, I guess. But. In the meantime, I'm enjoying the beach, and I hope that you are too. Summer is short, guys. Get out, enjoy nature. Before I let you go, there's just one more thing I gotta do. That's right, guys. This, uh, this little spot, it's just no good But this trash around. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick up the trash. Why do people leave garbage on the ground? Like, there's a garbage can right there. Like, seriously, guys. Like, why do people do this? Get this over here, too. Normally, I wear gloves. And I'm picking up trash, but I guess I'll just wash my hands. Can I get that one? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, long reach. Got it. Well, thank you for joining me this beautiful day at the beach.